Hello there everyone, it's Aiden here with your slightly early roundup of all the games coming to both PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium in the month of September. So typically you wouldn't actually be getting this video until a couple of weeks time, but it seems that PlayStation just decided that it wanted to change its scheduling and now we're getting the announcement for Extra and Premium games along with Essential. We decided to keep it in the single video so it wasn't just an overload of information but do know that this doesn't change the date in which you'll be able to play these games. They'll all still arrive on the third Tuesday of the month, which this month is September 20th. Now, before we move on, remember to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all things PlayStation, including PS Plus, new releases, and the latest news. So let's find out what PS Plus Extra and Premium members have in store for them in September 2022. Okay, so as is the case across these roundups, they're going to be a bit more casual, a bit more rapid fire, because across both of the tiers, we've got 17 games to cover. Six of those are coming to premium and 11 to extra. So since there's only the six, let's start things out with premium. We've got a single PS1 game, two PSP games, and three PS3 titles. Starting off, you've got Siphon Filter 2, which is finally joining the original, which has been a part of Premium since day one, meaning you can further entrench yourself in the mystery of the deadly Siphon Filter virus. Next up, fans of Sly Cooper are going to be incredibly happy this month with both the Sly Collection and Sly Cooper Thieves of Time joining PS Plus Premium. This will allow you to explore all four games, each filled with fun platforming, great action, and even a touch of time travel. But that's not all in the Sly Cooper department. No, no, because we've got Bentley's Hack Pack joining the Sly Cooper Ensemble, let's call it. This is the retro-inspired arcade minigames from Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, and it introduces an additional 20 levels and 100 challenges to each of the games. So that is a whole lot of Sly Cooper content for one month, but it has to be noted, all of these games are available as PS3 titles, meaning that you're going to have to stream them if you want to play, they aren't available via download. Moving on though, we've got two PSP games closing out the premium section of this month. First off is Toy Story 3, you've got Buzz, you've got Woody, you've got the rest of the gang, you've got mini games and an adventure to go on, all now enhanced with up rendering, rewind, quick save and custom video filters. All of these features will also be available through Kingdom of Paradise, an epic action RPG where you must unlock secrets once thought lost and restore harmony to the land. And that is it for premium, let's move on to extra. What are those additional 11 games? Well, the headliner for this month is PS5 exclusive Deathloop. This is a fantastic game from the Dishonored developer where you're going to be trapped in a time loop with two rival assassins. You get plenty of comedy, plenty of mechanics to mess around with, as you'd expect. It's got that super tight first person gameplay. The central time mechanic, which will change the environments depending on the time of day you're in, is incredibly fun to learn. And you have a great central performance from both Colt and Juliana. This one is definitely worth checking out. And it's only around 20 hours long, probably a little shorter than that. So nothing too crazy. It's not going to suck up all of your time, but you're going to want to stay in this world. Next up though, we've got a couple of Ubisoft open worlders in the form of Assassin's Creed Origins and Watch Dogs 2. Now, both of these are PS4 titles, but Origins does have a 60 FPS patch for PS5. Watch Dogs, on the other hand, is sitting with that really staggered 30 FPS. Now, Origins is a bit more of an RPG out of the two. This is the game that steered the series into that full-on RPG direction that we got with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but its ancient Egyptian setting is a really fun one to explore. There's lots of great details, a decent story here as well, and a new combat system. Watch Dogs 2, on the other hand, I think it's a little underrated. It's really improved on all of the aspects that were lacking in the original. You've got more colorful characters, you've got a better setting with San Francisco, and just overall, it's a pretty fun, easygoing time. Next up, we've got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. This is a mashup between a brawler and an action RPG, where you're going to be building your own character, exploring a city hub, 
and then traveling back in time to iconic moments from the series where you'll be fighting against and alongside some recognizable faces. Speeding things up a little, we have Spirit Fader Farewell Edition. This is a management game where you're the fairy master for the dead. You're going to build a bow, explore the world, befriend some souls before finally releasing them into the afterlife. Then we've got Chicory, A Colourful Tale. This is a top-down adventure set within a colouring book world where you can draw on anything. You've got new places to explore, puzzles to solve, and abilities to unlock. Rev up your engines because Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 5, whew, is also coming to PlayStation 4 and 5 via Extra. This, of course, is a racing game. You're going to have different engine categories to mess around with, but also a track editor where you can create the craziest circuits, test your skills to the absolute limit, and you can do it all with some friends online or in split screen multiplayer. Then we've got a remaster of sorts in the form of Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX coming to both PlayStation 4 and 5. This has new graphics, gameplay improvements, animations, but it's also expanding upon the experience with brand new levels that set to expand the lore and story behind Alex Kidd. Now this also has a retro mode which is really cool allowing you to go back to the original presentation and not just that, the original music. You have the remastered original soundtrack and the reimagined soundtrack as well. Then getting a little weird we have Rabbids Invasion, the interactive TV show for PlayStation 4. You'll be able to play through 20 Rabbids Invasion episodes. You'll be interacting with these weird and manic looking things as the show runs. You'll be competing with your friends and family to chase high scores and unlock new content. Then we've got Rayman Legends. This is a game I actually picked up all the way back when I got my PlayStation 4. It's a lot of fun, a fantastic little 2D platformer. You've got new levels, inventive challenges. You're going to be testing your reflexes along with some great tunes, and you can play it in up to four player co-op online or in local. And lastly, we're finally at the end of the road. We have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game complete edition on PS4. <laughs> a lot of words there, but of course, this is a 2D arcade style beat em up. It's inspired by the comic books and the movie. You'll be able to play as your favorite characters, level them up, earn new abilities with them, along with secret items and modes. There's a lot of stuff here. It's a lot of fun. This has become a bit of a cult classic and for a while it was actually really difficult to play this game, but now it's available through PS Plus Extra, so definitely check it out. And that is it for the month of September. A lot of games there, 17 titles and some really big hitters. If I was to pick one out, I'd say if you haven't already, Deathloop is a must play. So if you're on PlayStation 5, get on that one. But please do let me know which of these 17 games you're most excited to check out in September. And just give me an overall sense. How are you feeling about PS Plus these days? It's been nearly three months. This is the third content drop since it launched. So please let me know about that as well. But remember to like and subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all things PlayStation. And I will catch you right back here on Push Square.